from archery to boxing to conditioning. Irving's Police Athletic League, or PAL program, teaches youngsters the ABCs of physical education. A lot of the kids that come in here, they've, they've done no physical activity. Some of these kids are not even, they go around the fence and that's it, they're, they're done. Life is not, not easy, life is tough. We put them to a very structured, tough program. We have so many different programs and so we're reaching kids that their hobbies and their interests are very broad. So you have the boxing kids and then the archery kids bring in maybe not the strongest, maybe not the fastest, but it brings in like they can really start working on those steps and focusing in. And then you have fitness, just the kids that want to get out here. Maybe the parents are like trying to get that energy. So I feel like we're reaching kids of all kinds, all personalities and stuff like that. It's actually pretty rare to find like these programs. So when I heard about it, I'm like, OK, I'm going to do this because it's really fun. Participants learn athletics in a structured and highly disciplined environment. Here we go. Up and hold it. As kids grow in the program, they gain confidence and build their self-esteem as they conquer new challenges. Come on, dude. There you go. Their self-esteem just rises. We've had kids that have come in here. They're not able to walk up and down the stairs getting into the ring. First time you get in this ring? I don't care who you are, you, you can be the greatest, baddest guy, and you're scared to death. And talk about building self-esteem, it's learning how to do this without that thing that's eating you up in your stomach. And that's why it works. What they've taught me is you don't have to be afraid of everything. They're not only nice, they're positive. Like when you can't do something, they're like, you got this, you no, you can do this. There is one that when she started, I didn't hear her talk at all. Like if I heard her voice, I was like, who's that, you know? And then now she's been with me for like four years now. And I feel like she's one of my best friends out here. I mean, she's grown tremendously and she's not the only one. Lots of them out here, they come out, they start building it, they get their personalities and stuff like that. Cal began in Irving in the early 90s with boxing. And as the program continues to grow, so does the impact it makes on young people in this community. Countless kids have changed their lives in this ring, with some developing into professional boxers and others learning valuable lessons that led them into honorable careers of service. If it happens and they turn pro, so be it. But to me, uh, my one, number one goal is education and being fit and staying out of trouble. Whether they're, they're boxers or they become uh, you know, a police officer, a detention officer, uh, or again, they're, they're serving the country by going to the service. Uh, that's just uh, uh, very rewarding. One of the great benefits of the PAL program is that it lives up to its name. It's an opportunity for youngsters to get to know members of the Irving Police Department and become PALs. It's very nice. It's helping me know that I'm growing up around police officers, so it'll I'll know lessons when I get older. It's great having an officer. It's like an extra bonus. Like he's my coach, Soli Coach Solis, he's my coach. I could talk about about boxing, recent fights that are coming up and also he can tell me like his daily patrol and how he deals with people. Every once in a while I'll, I'll bring my uniform and the kids are like, whoa, you know, you're a police officer. Said, yeah guys, it's this officer Solis right there on the door. It bridges that gap, you know. We're human just like anybody else is and, and I'm just like your mom and dad, you know, I'm just, my profession is a police officer. It's almost like a light bulb goes off and they're like, oh, they are something more than just that coach, you know, and then so they got to know you before they got to know the uniform. So to me, I think that's big and they built that trust. A knockout program that definitely hits the mark. Robert Sheik for City Source.